Straighten up. Go straight. A little faster. There you go. Alright guys, we were in Moab, Utah, and today we are doing what is known as the trifecta. It is the longest off-road route you can do in the Moab area. and consists of three trails, Poison Spider, Golden Spike, and Gold Bar Rim. It's definitely going to be a challenge. We've got Matt and Kara from Ozark Overland Adventures, of course. Check out this damage that Matt did to his truck yesterday on Cliffhanger. It's a good dent there, but I've actually uh, done all the repair that's needed already with this Sturdy and Dangerous sticker. Yeah, Y'all did how many miles yesterday? 250. I don't know. 250, 250. miles. That's a mile. <laughs> we also got Rob over here. No. Revere Overland. And Rob is only on, what, 33s or 35s? Rob's on 35s on a fairly unmodified Wrangler stock suspension, yes? Yes, stock suspension. So th this, this vehicle is going to have the most challenge. Of course, we've got the Trail Destroyer. 600 horsepower Hemi on 40s. After making our way through the first rock obstacle on the trail, we started our climb up the mountain on some spectacular terrain. I love some great scenery on my adventures, and this route should offer plenty of that ahead as we get high above Moab. Actually, I had no idea at this point just how incredible this day was going to be. This is my favorite trail out here. It used to be Cliffhanger until yesterday. Right on. It's got a good bit of, uh, I call it mild fun obstacles. I'm definitely jealous you got those photos of your truck coming down the cliff and your obstacle. It looks sick. I know I've said this a few times, but this trip is where we're really going to be putting the Trail Destroyer to the test on some of the best challenges that Moab has to offer. A little tap, a little tap. A little, a little tap on the control arm. Is that Rob on the bypass? What? 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 Who does that? Finish people take bypasses, I guess. Huh. With a couple of warm-up obstacles out of the way, we were ready to tackle this thing. Truth be told, I didn't know anything about the trifecta going into this. Matt just said we should do it, and it sounded like a challenge. I love a good challenge. Guys, we're about maybe 20 minutes into this trail so far. I actually just cut my of trail one of three. Off, we're doing good so far. Yeah, this is fun. A good time. It's beautiful out here. It's getting warm. I might even take off my hoodie. I know, I'm happy to. But uh, if you want to pick it up, dirtyandangerous.com. As we got on top of the canyon, the terrain leveled out a bit, and we were just cruising. 
I run a fun four high section, so get ready to roll. Max, slow down. This is not smooth. <laughs> I've never been more happy with my suspension setup than right then. Just ahead, we've arrived at the waterfall, a tricky corner ledge that can be a bit slippery from all the sand. Go up. There you go. that, this steep rock climb around another corner. So this obstacle is called the wedge. It's kind of a V-notch obstacle. Looks like it should be fun. I like fun. That likes fun. Just I'm... don't slip off the edge. Good advice, Matt. I will not slip off the ledge. That was a fun one. You do that in your tundra? I'd do that one. You can do that in your tundra. I'd do that yeah. in tundra, no problem. I'd lift wheels. I'd li yeah, I'd lift tires. <laughs> I don't know, I think you're so wide, you'd probably stay up on the high spot. <laughs> yeah, probably. Drive straight. One of the most important things about any challenge I take on is the crew that I'm with. Rob, Matt, Kara, and their friends who came along with us are some of the best people you could have adventuring with you. And that's giving me a lot of confidence out here to get this done. What are you doing? Limey snow. I'm watching yeah. the story till now. You gotta be quiet, man. It's a good part. All right, we're at the top of Poison Spider, so we're uh, we're making progress here. Next, we're bit. heading over to Golden Spike. I wonder if you can see all this dust on my lens. It's better. We're right off of there. <laughs> Cleaned it right up. So we're heading over to Golden Spike after this, and then Gold Bar Rim to complete the trifecta. Insert dramatic music. Da -da -da. <laughs> Spike. It's beautiful out here. It's a little, a little windy, a little cold, but the sun does feel super warm. We're gonna have some lunch, and then we'll be carrying on along this slick rock here. What is this? This is my patch. Talk to me, Goose. Oh, yeah. Sweet. I'll stick this on my hothead's headliner. Whoop. Yeah. Talk to me, Goose. Do you like nuts? I love nuts. Oh, please. Can I eat some of your nuts? Those will be the best nuts you ever had. Hmm. They are great. Wow, those are really good nuts. Right, they're two different things. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I can overland without the uh, This is called the launch pad. I don't think I need to explain why.
Sports Guy, baby. You can really see how steep this is when you look straight down. I've done some pretty steep climbs out here before, but I'm fairly certain this is Rob's first time doing something like this. Yeah. That is steep. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sean, you eat more licorice than anybody I've ever seen. This is called Skyline Drive Summit. Makes you feel teeny tiny, doesn't it? I'm more concerned about going down. Stuff like this is why Utah, and Moab in particular, captures the hearts of off-road enthusiasts. You get to do things that feel like they should not be possible. The last time I was here, I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to because of the limitations of my vehicle. But this time, I get to really experience this in my big green machine. Easy, Rob. Another fun little decline. This trail's great. Man, that uh, that big hill? Yeah, the some, something summit, I don't remember what it's called. Whatever it's called, with the American flag on the top? Yeah, it's way cool. I think the whole trail is about to get uh, a little more fun. This is a really cool obstacle because it's got this little pool where you wet your tires before you come up the slick rock. This adds a little extra interesting factor.
exciting. Might be in a few spots. All right, it's 3 p.m. now. We started this trail around 9 a.m., so we've been on the trail for about six hours. I think maybe we're close to the halfway point. So we still got a ways to go, to go although we're, I mean, we're past most of the most difficult obstacles. Doing all three of these trails in one shot is uh, it's definitely, it's a marathon. That's what it is. We're doing good. has gotten himself turtled here on the rocks. Let me pull forward so I have to Are you a turtle, Matt? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little turtled. A little, little turtled. Just going to get a little pull backwards from my beloved for our pride. There you go. Honey. Woo! Back tire is going to come up. You're on your slider. Good. We'd made it up to the Overlook, about a thousand meters above Moab. All right, this spot is called the Overlook, and you can see why. We're looking down on Moab right there from way up on Golden Spike. Can you hear me? I don't think so. <laughs> you can see through there. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All there. Let's take a little peek. Whoa! No, thanks. behind us yeah being up here really does make you feel small and it's incredible up here the views in every direction are outstanding On your hatch is open again. Is, is there not like a latch or something on that? It's a feature. If it gets too hot back there, it auto vents. I'm going to say the latches were extra. After the hemi swap, he couldn't afford that. I'm 
when uh, it gets a little wonky. Yeah. Stay straight for now. All right, now turn hard. There you go. As the technical sections of Golden Spike get more challenging, it's taking us longer and longer to get through this part of the trifecta. It's getting close to sunset. We're not even close to being finished. One down. Huh? One down. Yeah. One to go. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a drop, eh? Well, it's a drop with an off camber little thing. You gotta come at an angle here. I mean, it's doable. I've done it before. What the hell? Yeah. There may be a bypass here. Yeah. side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was not a fan of the line that Matt took here, and I decided to look for another route down. Unpleasant. All right, well, Sean's picked a different line. He didn't like, uh, my line. It was pretty wonky. I don't know. I mean, it has potential. It also has tippy. Straighten up. Go straight. A little passenger. There you go. A little more passenger. More passenger. There you go. More passenger. There you go. Turn more, more, more. There you go. There you go. I am one with my machine. Fun times. It is. No passenger. You still have the back of your bumper on the rear. Definitely. This, this line truck, in your okay. Jeep, to me, is way <laughs> sketchier on that than one. that one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm a little taller than you, yeah. but, I mean, but, but I don't want to suggest the wrong thing here. I don't want to be on the wrong side of history, you know? Yeah, he's got to choose his own path. Rob had concerns about this obstacle in his nearly stock Rubicon, and rightfully so. It's definitely a tricky one with the angles, so we took as much time as we needed to get him through it safely. Looking good. Clear! Last <laughs> rock, baby! 
<laughs> nice one, Rob. <laughs> well done, sir. Thank you. Well done. Woo! This trail's a blast. Don't look down. What's up, the lab? Woo! So this trail is just full of incredible viewpoints. I think this one's even better than the last one. It is. I'm getting thrown up. Look at this, guys. We're standing up over top of the highway into Moab here, looking out over uh, Arches National Park over in that direction. We're just parked on the side of this cliff. Oh. Matt, I don't know what you're feeling right now. Um, overwhelmed, emotional, can't believe we get to do this for a living. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. We were all feeling a little emotional being up here. It's felt like a special trip. And even doing what we do, you don't get to go to places like this every day, looking down at the world in all its glory. made it to the golden crack right now you can see Matt is in the crack I'm in the crack the golden crack is one of Moab's most iconic spots I don't know if there's a better photo to get than this right here Something special happened here as well. Whereas I was crossing over, I noticed that we passed 200,000 subscribers on the channel. 200,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Crossing the Congrats, crack. bro. Thanks, guys. Woo! Bye. 
remind us of the sun setting as we come across the golden crack in the golden hour. Pretty awesome. Kara is in the crack. This is probably the most comfortable crack I've ever been in. <laughs> it's like a recliner. <laughs> it's basically like a recliner crack. It's not bad. Oh, so much fun. <sighs> what, a, like with this view in the background? Come on. We are here. This is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, and beautiful. Like, what an adventure, eh? Like, you got that. You got that. You got that. Me some good night wheeling. Woo! There's light in the darkness. You just gotta give your eyes a chance to a thousand. Just give your heart a chance to react. All right, it is 8.30 p.m. and uh, we've made it to Gold Bar Rim. So we've got one more trail to run, we figure another hour or two, and uh, now we're night wheeling and we're having a blast. So let's keep going. Nighttime wheeling in Moab is a completely different animal. Depth perception becomes an issue, there are drop-offs, large holes, and not to mention just taking the wrong path completely, which we did several times. To be honest, I absolutely love it. That is steep. It's not, it's not too bad. You drive up the ad. That's just that way. Well, what's the chain for? Remember this rock? Yeah. It was no, right, right here. here. Yeah. It was right here. Right. It was a nice little helpful rock. So it was the chain to help you get some grip right there? I have no idea. Like the snow chain again. Oh, uh, real? Uh, that's all I could think of. Mm -hmm. This is kind of angle. Maybe it'll see the Yeah. 
soccer zone. Yeah. Give it some yeah. dark yeah. side. Give it the beam. That's crazy. Is there is but, there more? No. Oh, that's about it's, it. That's about it. We just gotta drive out. I think we uh, actually yeah. hit smooth like county road soon, don't we? Uh, in a little bit. I think this goes for a little bit longer. But... We've been on this trail for 12 hours now. We're still not done. The trifecta is a mentally draining run. We are still rock crawling down this hill. I'm super exhausted. I just want to go to bed. We did it. We did it. We completed the trifecta. It only took us 12 hours. 12 and a half hours. <laughs> Maybe close to 13 hours. I'm completely like mentally wiped. Exhausted. I just want to sleep. And I think that's what we're going to go do. We're going to, uh, we're going to keep going. So if you're not already subscribed, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Your Jeep killed it! Yeah, Elizabeth's Jeep. Your wife's Elizabeth's Jeep. Elizabeth's Jeep. My wife's Jeep. <laughs> yes. It did awesome. <laughs> yeah. It hung in there. I, I'm surprised how well it did. It, Pretty it capable. So, it's a long one. Catch Glad you next week. Uh,